Hi, my name is Randy Fay. I'm the maintainer of DDEV Local, the local development environment for PHP and HTML and JavaScript applications. And I want to give you a quick tour today of two great features for profiling. Um, DDEV has direct support for XHProf and Blackfire.io, um, and they can really help you to understand the performance of your web app. So let's just take a quick look at those. Um, first of all, profiling, not everybody is familiar with. And, and I have to say, when we take a look at the, the graphs and charts presented by both of these, it takes some time to wrap your head around them. So don't be frustrated with yourself and give yourself some time for it. But when you're studying the performance of any kind of app, um, there's always specific problems, but usually when you first start working on something like this, there are, uh, you know, a, as with all the rules, 80% um, of the trouble is in 20% of the places, sometimes worse than that. But you ha it takes some time to figure out what that would be and how you would do it, how you would solve that performance problem, figure out what's going on. Um, so profiling is how you do that. The classic kind of profiling is one that just studies how much time is spent in each function, how many times it, executed, it executes, and how much time is spent in it. Um, and, you know, and what it's calling and, and adding that up and being able to drill down into it. Um, with more sp sophisticated tools like Blackfire, you can also find out things like how much memory each function uh, execution uses, what's going on with database queries and that kind of thing. So that's what profiling is. And DDEV now has direct support for two, two different tools. One is XHProf, which goes way back. And the other was, is Blackfire.io, which is a descendant of XHProf, but very, very sophisticated. And it is a commercial product. We'll, we'll show you how that works in just a second. So uh, before I go, let me just take a look and I'm going to show you that the all of the, what we're going to cover is here in the docs. You can just type in to the docs profiling and you'll see profiling with XHProf and with Blackfire. Um, so it's easy to come up with what you need to know there and we will do that. XHProf is a tool that was built by Facebook just eons ago. I don't remember how long and it hasn't changed at all in at least 10 years. Um, Facebook dropped it um, and it's been maintained by a, a few people. It's been updated. It works with PHP 8. Um, it's still simple and useful and for many things it gives you a quick start on figuring out what your performance issues may be. And all we have to do with uh, DDEV is we'll just do a DDEV XHProf on, visit a page, and then we click the link to run the analysis or we go find the uh, find the analysis, the run at uh, your, your site slash XHProf. Um, so let's just take a look at what we get with that. So I'm going to go over here and what I'm using here is the uh, Drupal 7 modules page. I'm using this because it gives us, uh, XHProf is able to insert or to append its, uh, its link at the bottom of it. So it makes it a little easier to use. Um, if you're profiling a Drupal 9 site, um, you may have to go to the XHProf uh, place to, to the slash XHProf to look at it, uh, but that's easy enough. You just go there and look at the latest one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on XHProf. I'm gonna go DDEV XHProf on. I had to have started this already. So the project is running. We're looking at it here. Now I'm gonna just give it a quick, uh, I'm gonna give it a quick hit here. And and now at the bottom of the page, you see the XHProf profiler output. So I'm gonna click that. And here is our um, information. Um, and it shows the run ID and all that kind of stuff. So. Now, the problem is making some sense out of this. So we're going to see what we can make some sense out of. It comes out sorted by inclusive wall time. In other words, the total amount of time that things uh, took to operate. And so you see that the main function took 100% of the time 
Um, but we're not interested in that. We know we already knew that the main function took 100% of the time. We almost always are interested in the exclusive wall time, the time that our function took to operate. So I'm going to click on that and sort by that. And now we have a list of the top 100 functions um, sorted by the exclusive wall time, the, uh, the one that we really want to see. And this, uh, the reason that I chose the Drupal 7 modules page is that it's always had trouble with I.O. It has to go and rummage through nearly every file in the Drupal 7 code base uh, to find out what modules are enabled or could be enabled and that kind of thing. So it has to do a whole bunch of work. So we see right at the beginning that Opender is taking 29% uh, of the time on the exclusive wall time and file get contents is taking 23%. So between the two of those, we have, um, we have what, 52%? Um, just boom. Uh, so we know, we already know what's going on with this page. And of course I chose this page because of the problems that it's always had um, uh, with, on a site with, on a Drupal 7 site with lots of modules, you could wait a long time for it to load. Um, you'll see here that all of the related um, files are doing the same kind of thing. Isdur is taking up part of that time and that kind of thing. Now we can uh, drop into we can drop into some of these things like Drupal parse info format, and we can see what's inside those with it all sorted um, by by um, inclusive wall time. Now, so you can see what what it has to do in some cases you know as you if we look back here um in this particular case the top two items that we have that are taking over 50 percent of our of our execution time those top two items are uh, php um, php native uh, function calls so we can't really study them they're not about our particular problem but if we go into like Drupal parse info uh, format, we see pre-reg match all is 9.6% of the time in that and those kind of things. So we can study that. But let's just take a look at one more thing in the here, and that's the call graph. So we have a, a graphical call graph that we can open up here. And it will, in many cases, show us the big picture about what's going on on our biggest problem. So if we follow the uh, follow the uh, yellow lines and the dotted lines, we see file get content shows up up here and opener shows up down here, all marked in red. Those were our two big, big ones that we looked at and saw earlier. So um, once you have got your brain looking at that, you can make some, in some cases, you can make some pretty quick progress with understanding what the behavior of a page is. Um, so, um, all we have to, here, let me go back here. Um, with XHProf, all we really have to do is click the link or go to, um, the, to the main page of XHProf. The call graph is useful. The... Uh, but the wall time is about all you get. And of course, the docs, as I showed you, are in ddev.readthedocs.io, and you can just type in xhprof at the top, and you will be there. So there's that. Let me just show you the one other thing here. This, um, this nice little link here at the bottom isn't necessarily there on all project types. So it um, ddev doesn't yet know how to insert or append that for Drupal 9, for example. Uh, maybe we'll figure that out. But it's not that big a deal because we can just go to the slash xhprof. Um, we just go here. And the latest, uh, the latest run is the one on top. So we can just go to that and um, study it. So it shows, it shows each one there. And we can just go to the one and study it. So that's it for XHProf. 
Let's go on and take a look now at blackfire.io. So blackfire.io is a descendant of XHProf. Um, XHProf pioneered so much of this territory, but blackfire.io has been uh, building on it for years and years and years. You do have to have an account on blackfire.io. Let's take a look at that. Um, so we'll go to blackfire.io. Um, slash pricing and you'll see that the uh, pricing uh, can be significant um, this uh, 29 euros a month is not nothing uh, but it does offer a significant a significant amount of value the profiler uh, account does offer almost everything that you would want to do for an individual working on a uh, on a project um, now there is a free account they just hide it. It's all the way down here below the entire thing. Here's the free account. It's called the hack account. And it has a local development environment uh, profiling, which is what we do usually with DDEV. But it does have, um, it, it doesn't have the best stuff about Blackfire. So um, the hack account mostly is about the same as XHProf. It's probably a little more professional, a little better presentation. Um, it may be more accurate, but as far as the extra features, the hack account uh, doesn't have much. And they do say that the hack account will be going away. So anyway, you do need that. And once you have it, um, you also need the browser extension. Um, this, is the, this is the browser extension right here for Blackfire. And um, so you need to install the browser extension for Chrome or Firefox. And then in DDEV, you configure the API keys in the, in the global config would be the normal place. It's very easy to do. You can just edit that file um, or you can use the, the command that's in the docs. And then we're going to do the same basic thing. We're going to do the DDEV Blackfire on. And here, though, we click the Blackfire extension button and then profile. Uh, the page. We do it explicitly. It's not being collected automatically for us. Um, and it has lots more dimensions. So we'll look at that in just a second. Um, one of the big advantages of Blackfire is it can actually be deployed on production because it doesn't get used until you do uh, basically the, the extension with the profile button. So you can study it on production without affecting any normal usage. So let's take a look at it. We're going to do basically exactly the same thing on the exact same page. So I am going to go and DDEV Blackfire on. And now uh, we are going to reload this page. And we're going to click the button. And now it says profile. So we'll click the profile button. And this profiling actually goes uh, slower. I'm actually going to stop. When you're, when you're recording the screen like this, everything goes slow. So I'm actually going to stop, uh, stop the thing and profile it again right quick so that it has accurate stuff because when you're screen recording everything goes to hell okay here it is profiled um, and I, I did stop the screen recording so that it could give hopefully an accurate result um, and you see we have a whole bunch of uh, dimensions here we can look at uh, time uh, that it took and this is basically looking very similar to uh, what we did uh, with XHProf it may not be exactly the same um, so we can we can look at time and um, it should it's not exactly the same but you see the opener and file get contents showing up very quickly as the the um, as the thing to beat they're the they're the ones that we want but and and oh let me just show you here um, I don't know how to okay here. Here's file get contents, and you see we have both exclusive and inclusive that we can uh, click on. Uh, of course, 
Uh, Blackfire, being more mature, comes up sorting by exclusive to begin with, which makes more sense since that's almost always what we're interested in looking at. But let's look at what else is here. I await is here. I await is the amount of time that uh, that system calls spend waiting for input. And that with this particular page, that's significant. So we see open dir and file get content showing up very quickly there uh, because of the nature of the page we're looking at. Then we can also look at uh, look directly at CPU. Um, CPU usage is not the same as execution time. So we can see a little bit different there, but in this particular case, it comes out being mostly the same culprits. We can also look at peak memory, and uh, we can look at network, which isn't very important here. Um, HTTP isn't very important. But what is important, especially in this particular page and most Drupal optimizations, is we have SQL queries. So this shows the number of um, queries that used significant time sorted um, and how many calls to it that there were. Very, very useful. Um, like the MySQL slow log and other things like that, but much easier to use. So that I, there is lots and lots and lots of documentation on the Blackfire site. And they have training and they have videos. And you, just like with XHProp, you're going to have to spend some time to be any good at it. I mean, you might get the first win um, by just poking the button once. But if you're really, really going to understand what's going on with the performance of your web app, you're going to have to spend some time um, learning this tool because this is a very, very powerful tool, very, very useful tool. Oh, I'll show you a cool thing here. It has recommendations. So for Drupal 7, it says, oh, here's some things that you can do to speed it up uh, given this exact this exact thing. So, um, so uh, you can explore time, I await, CPU, memory, network, SQL query, um, lots of doc. There's the docs in the uh, DDEV docs. And of course, Blackfire's extensive docs, which you'll need to actually understand what you're looking at. So very, 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 very good stuff. Highly recommended. Blackfire has been very involved in this feature and paying attention to it and making sure it keeps up and has made uh, contributions to keep it going. And that's very much appreciated. So, okay. So what we did, we looked at, we looked at what profiling is. We looked at the XHProf feature and how to use it. Um, and we looked at Blackfire and how to use that, just DDEV Blackfire on. And all the resources are in the docs. Happy to talk with you. I'm looking forward to the XHProf. The X, XHProf feature is brand new and it has some maturing to do. So we look forward to your feedback. Um, there's lots of support for DDEV. I listen in many, many places and the community is listening in many, many places. Um, lots of good, great community support. And the project repo is github.com drud DDEV. And you can get me lots of places. Arfe on Slack, Randy Fay on Twitter, and I'm RFA most other places too. So look forward to hearing from you and would love to hear your experiences with profiling. Thanks so much.